Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Aid World, and today I want to show you guys a new deck I've been trying out in Hearthstone over the last week or so. Some of my Hearthstone videos have been getting quite a few more views lately, so I figure every few days I might post some live gameplay like this to show off some of my decks. For anyone that's here for FPS content though, don't worry, this channel isn't becoming a Hearthstone channel and there's still going to be plenty of Battlefield. If you are into Hearthstone though, make sure you hit that like button so that I can tell and if you have any deck suggestions, well, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, I call this deck Wallet Paladin because it's super greedy with a total of 11 legendaries, which is way more than even Control Warrior. Unlike heavy control decks, it's not reactive though, and it plays a lot more like a classic mid-range Paladin by aggressively controlling the board. You'll notice that this deck has hardly any healing at all, because the whole idea is to keep pressuring your opponent to remove your big threats with less than efficient plays. This deck is a bit weaker against fast aggro decks, but it does do a lot better against control and combo decks, and this includes traditionally bad matchups like Oil Rogue and Patron Warrior. But anyway, let's jump on over into the live gameplay because I think this game is a really good example of what this deck is capable of. As always though, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, see you later and have a good one. Okay, so if this is Zoo, I'm probably going to get absolutely wrecked. I mean... All of this is way too, way, way, way too slow. I need him, uh, Chow. No, that's not going to do it. <laughs> Pretty much just drew almost what I just had, so. I need a Chow and I need a Minibot. If it's handlocked, though, that's not a bad matchup, actually, to be honest. Yeah, it's Zoo. Oh, no. That, to me, it could be hand lock. It could be Malagos lock as well. Still a very slow start from my deck. Yeah, it's Malagos lock, I think. And it looks like he has Malagos in hand. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's really crap, actually. Yeah, this dude is just drawing really well. Chow into Coghammer is not bad. For justice. That takes that out of the picture. Back to full health again. But he's a turn ahead of me. So I need to draw into probably my dragon consorts and some of my bigger dragons. It's definitely Malagos lock. This is a very hard deck to beat these days. And none of this really counters it. I mean, I'm probably just gonna have to hit and then muster. For justice. At least I've got four guys on the board. <laughs> I didn't draw into any of my five drops. It just goes to show that. You know, even if you miss your early game, it doesn't really matter what you have in your deck. If you miss the draws, then you're screwed, so... I know a lot of people were sort of worried that with this deck, um, around the 4 drop was a bit of an issue, but I don't think it's that much of an issue. The high impact minions, as long as you get into the late game, will sort of pull you through, so that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping he's not really going to pressure me that much, and I can get into some of those legendaries and just absolutely wreck him so let's kill this it's getting closer to that Malagos turn though 
This could be an Emperor turn. If this is an Emperor turn, I'm in big trouble. But I'm also getting closer to KT. If I get KT out with guys on the board, he's going to be in big, big trouble. So it's looking good so far. Sylvanas. I think I'll just play it into the board and hope it doesn't die. I mean, even if it does die, he's probably going to spend a lot of his turn trying to get rid of the Sylvanas anyway, and these guys might survive, which will make for a good KT on turn 8. Mm. So I think I'm just going to True Silver. For justice. Smack this guy. Unfortunately, I heal up and then take damage. It's a shame how that mechanic works. Um, oh, no, I can't Sylvanas. Completely forgot. Not enough mana. I need to learn how to count. It's turn 6, not turn 10. Implosion. That screws my KT up. But he's used one Dark Bomb, two Implosions, and we haven't seen an Emperor yet, so we're in pretty good shape, really. I mean, I could KT now, but it's kind of like... I'm just KTing 1-1s. One so, I mean, I think I'm just going to... Sylvanas, drop that, take out these guys. Uh, so we had Malagos in hand, for sure. So we're turn 8 now, still no Emperor. Two soul fires are nine damage each. And I'm 25. Oh, there's one soul fire gone. Oh! Hellfire. Oh! So that's, I guess, good. My eyes are open. Alright, so. Oh, Emperor is pretty good. See, this is what I mean. This is how this deck works. You just keep dropping big threats until something sticks. And, um. So he's dropped the soul fire because I think he was pretty worried to leave that up. I mean, Malagos could come down now, but he's down one hellfire, two implosions, one dark bomb. So he has one hellfire, a soul fire, and a dark bomb left. Mortal coils, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. So that's one mortal coil down. So we can't drop Malagos. Twilight Drake. Drake is fine. I wish he'd do some damage to that, to be honest. Oh, I could. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is actually a really good play. So I think if I do equality, kill that KT. But then how do I deal with Malagos? I feel like if Malagos drops, it's going to be too late anyway, right? I mean, Alex Stra... I mean, I can't... I mean, you can just Mortal Coil that, right? Oh, man, this is tough choices, tough choices. I think he's going to have to deal with KT. Let's, let's just do this. This is probably a dumb idea. But I'm going to have a full health Emperor. Something tells me he's not going to expect that. So that'll only just kill Malagos. Oh, yeah, now I get it. That that works. That is one way to deal with it. <laughs> mortal coil. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. He had a second mortal coil. That would have been dead.
Now this is tricky. Uh, Dragon Consort. That can't play into that, unfortunately. I just have to pressure the board. What am I saving this for? It's a good question. Is he going to finish me now? Probably. <laughs> Malagos. I mean, both mortal coils are gone, so I mean, really, it's only one soul fire that I have to be really worried about. We still haven't seen Emperor. I mean, he could, if he dropped Emperor now, I'd be in big trouble. Siphon Soul. That'll, that'll get rid of it. Dark Bomb. So that's the second Dark Bomb. Wow, he's running out of spells, but then I'm running out of cards. So I think I just have to go all in here and just hope that he doesn't have enough to deal with me. Oh shit, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, why didn't I play that first? Oh, the misplays, the misplays. Next minute he drops boom, so <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> Oh, double big game. Oh my god, you would. That's like a perfect counter to this deck. He's got no spells though. It's it's down to um board control here. Oh, Rag is good. Rag is, is actually pretty good. Okay, so we play the big game first. <laughs> this is how we do this. I've got the beast in my side. And then we rag. Come on, hit this, please. Oh, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> Does he drop Malagos and then rag this? What have we got left in the deck? Tyrion and Ysera. Actually, we've got a few pretty high impact minions. Actually, nearly everything's high impact, except for Aldor. Oh, there's the Emperor. That only really makes the um, Malagos cheaper. Reporting for duty. battle! Oh, this is going to be hard. Hit this guy. Please hit this guy. Actually, just hit face, to be honest. Yes! That'll do. I'm happy with that. Oh, man. Almost. Theoretical. One lethal. One off lethal. And this is the beauty about this deck is that, you know, guys, they keep removing your big threats and and you just keep living on because these minions have such a high impact, you know. Um, so, I mean... The battle! The battle! The battle! The battle! So it's a one in three of hitting one of these dudes. Can't attack with that guy. Come on, just belt something good. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, this is getting intense. Oh, that rag is so getting, like, sulfide in a tick. So the Malagos is going to cost him eight. So I don't think he has a sulfire in hand. That's why he keeps tapping. That's what he's waiting for. If I can get damage through next turn, I can probably YOLO rag. Just hope that it hits face. Nah, he's gonna kill it. That's actually... Oh, yeah. See, this is why this deck is awesome. Because just when you think you're screwed, you know, you draw a Ysera. 
So, and he can't even Malagos that off, so. I think I'm just gonna trade this off. Keep smashing face. Hopefully get something good off this dude. Nightmare is pretty good. So he's dead next turn, unless he can kill one of these guys. But then I could draw into True Silver. Oh. Heavy control. Two big games, two heal bots. And there's a Belcher. So the Belcher's dead. See, this is what the problem with reactive decks is. Is that you basically get into a position where um, you find it really, really, really hard to push the damage through once someone's pressuring you. And that's why this deck works so well. And if you have a look at the deck list, I've, I've still got a lot of big threats. And he's almost out of cards. He's got one card. I've got 10 cards to go. So as long as I can survive, I've got a pretty damn good chance. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit... Hit. Consecration. Hit. Dude. And Ysera lives to fight another day. Double nightmare. <laughs> so that's 10. That's 14. That's 15. He's on 16. So if I draw into true silver or consecration, he's dead. Malagos. Uh, Lothab is good. One damage off. So close. Well played. And that is why you play this deck.